keep it out of that box. That's not the space to be in. So you can clear it, you don't want to be at the side of people. So if he decides to change lanes and he's not seen you like that. At least you can make friends with him and let him in. And he might leave you a gap later when you want to do a bit of lane splitting. You see, it's all about minimising, not just people cutting you up and avoiding them, it's, it's stopping it happening in the first place, not putting yourself in that position where, you, where that could happen. Minimising near misses. You see, when that guy come across me then, I'd already cottoned on to it could, the fact that it could happen. So what do I do? I create space so it doesn't happen. Don't even come don't even become an issue. You get all these people on YouTube putting, look at this prick pulled out on me, look at that, cut me up. Yeah well got you a hit, didn't it, on your on your channel, but what it didn't do is teach anybody how to do it right. What it does is show people what you're doing wrong. If you're the sort of person that uploads stuff just to play all about a motorist who cut them up. What you're doing wrong there is putting yourself in that situation. I've said it before. And we're not going to win the battle. Sorry, we can win all these little battles, so I'll take that back. We're not going to win the war. There's a lot of little battles in between. It's like there. I don't have to race up behind this Hyundai really quick. I can slow the car down behind like I did. Control his speed. So I'm not sat here and at zero k's an hour as I can't approach you from the back at 30. Text him. So instead, I slowed him down at my speed and brought him to a halt at the same speed as me. It's a simple process. I'm just minimising the risk factor. 